What's up? It's Cataclysm Ace here, continuing my journey on trying to make you a better player. This one, I think this is a very impressive game. I started off kind of sketchy, but it it ended so well. Final score was 56 and 7. So today, I'm going to be continuing my journey and helping you become a better player by taking you step by step in what I was thinking during this pretty good gameplay, I would say. Um, right now I'm using the Galil with the ice camo because I really like the ice. It's the closest to white that I can get. And I switch weapons after I die right here because I just lost a long range battle with a guy with a FAMAS because the Galil doesn't really step up to... it doesn't compare to other guns. Um, long range like the FAMAS and the AUG. They have much fi much higher fire rate and the recoil is not as extreme. Um, right now we have the BNC um, flag so right now I'm slowly pushing into their flank and they're spawning in the graveyard so I'm gonna have to get up there as quick as possible. I second guess myself, don't want to go up there because I'm gonna make a loud grunting noise giving my position away along with having my pants down while I climb up and put my gun down heard a player over here checking and spawn making sure there's nobody left in the graveyard and now this is where I post up this get, this wall gives great cover and think about this okay now when you're playing domination on the map jungle and the opponents have the A flag, there's one of two places that they're most likely to spawn. And these places are behind me in the graveyard in the river, or in front of me in the abandoned village. So, by camping out here, it's going to prevent them from spawning in the river behind me. And it's going to force them to spawn in the abandoned village, as you can see them continually spawning in front of me. Now, I was a little too far away, and they started to spawn down below because they had the um, C flag for a little bit. And the C flag has a much wider range of spawns. So they were able to spawn closer to me because they had the CBA. And as you see, we took back C, so now we are spawning back in this area. So now, once again, I'm pushing my way back into this spawn, because this is probably one of the best places to stay while you are um, playing a game of domination on jungle. Now, notice where I set myself. Yeah, it's a hiding spot for a chopper gunner, but it's not just that. I strategically placed my body. Because I know the spawn system, and I know if if one of our teammates is near or on top of their spawn, then there's a very low chance that they're going to spawn there. So, what I ended up doing is I ended up trying to uh, put myself in a position to prevent them from spawning and taking or spawning in the river to take a flag. I didn't really mind if they um, took it from a different side, but I was trying to keep them from spawning, which didn't actually turn out to really help. They spawned a little, like, probably like 10 more feet away than they actually would have, which is completely pointless. But in turn, it ended up, you know, keeping me safe. It was a great hiding spot for a chopper gunner. <coughs> and... You know, it was an attempt to block spawn that didn't really work. Um, right now, the SR is up. It's I didn't really die. Usually I save my SR-71s until I die, because then it helps me get back up to a new SR-71, new chopper gun, and dogs. But I felt pretty good. I was in the game. There's, there's days where I just pick up the controller and it just feels weird and it's just bad. Um, but today was a really good game, so I didn't really think I was going to die again. Right now, um, we are pushing farther up because, of course, we have an SR-71, so we can be gutsy now. Because we know exactly where they're going to be, what direction they're going, what they're doing, you know. 
so I got gutsy. I started pushing forward, and here is where the SR goes down, and here's where I screwed up. Um, always be aware of your surroundings, and that was a horrible example of why. Um, I learned the hard way because... A lot of people like to go up on top of that cliffside, and it cost me my life because I didn't check it. You always want to check places, even if you're not going to them, and we are being dominated right now. Now, if you get dominated, I mean, we're, we have a pretty hefty lead, but if you, get, if you start to get dominated, don't freak out. Take a deep breath. Think strategy. Try to find, look where all your teammates are, and try to push a direction that your your teammates aren't. If you do that, and you're a uh, a skillful player, even if you're not a skillful player, you're gonna run into more enemies that are by themselves, and you're not gonna have to try to share kills with your, you know, opponents or share t kills with your teammates. I'm sorry. Um, or, on the other hand, you can push with your teammates. The other strategy is for flanks. I apologize, I was trying to make a point and I didn't even make it. Um, but, if you're going the way that your teammates aren't, like I do, like I am doing right now, this is their flank. You have to be very, very careful when you're um, going for a flank simply because people can team up on you. And this is a great example right here. I moved out of my cover spot, and I got triple teamed. There was one inside the building and two that were aiming at me. I'm not real sure if the one inside the building was shooting at me or not. But, you know, it really wasn't a smart idea. So, if you're going to push their flank, make sure you are aware of where they are. Make sure you're going extremely slow, checking every corner, every nook, every cranny. And make sure you know where they are, you know. Cover all your bases. Don't die from a stupid decision you make. Um, right now I'm pushing with my teammates because once again we have an SR-71 out. <coughs> so I get gutsy when an SR-71's out. You know, you can go wherever the hell you want. And now it ran out. So now I'm slowly pushing to where they were before. And the game ends. We won 201 to 68. We got that one because we had two extra, you know, we had two flags, they had one. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and favorite. It helps out so much. Thank you and have a good one.